Since the invasion of Manchuria, the strain between Japan and China has escalated to a point that has left both nations wary of each other. In fact, every movement made is being studied while preparing for the worst. Nevertheless, China keeps forging ahead in technological advancements and observing its rapid rate of development, Japan has also responded by investing in the development of a sixth-generation spy jet with features that no other aircraft can boast of. Should China be worried about Japan's latest development, what are the capabilities of this spy jet? Join us as we explore the features of Japan's fastest spy jet that shocked China. On September 18, 1931, Japan initiated the invasion of Manchuria, a movement that caused a strain between Japan and China. What really transpired between these two nations? Prior to the invasion, China and Japan had a very good relationship, engaged in trades and even shared culture until one eventful day when everything changed for the worst. A section of railway track near the city of Mukden got destroyed due to an explosion that occurred. The Japanese, who owned the railway, pointed fighters at the Chinese nationalists and blamed them for the incident. They used the opportunity to retaliate and processed to invade Manchuria. However, it was later speculated by others that the bomb might have been planted by mid-level officers in the Japanese army to provide a reason for their subsequent military action. Within a few months, the Japanese army had claimed and outrun the entire region because thus encountered no resistance from the Chinese army. Due to the lack of resistance, they went about and consolidated their control of the resource-rich area after which they declared the area to be the new autonomous state of Manchukuo. Though the new nation was intact under the control of the local Japanese army, between 1880 and 1945, there were several wars and conflicts where Japan took over places like Taiwan, Manchuria, and much of China. However, in 1945, Japan was eventually defeated and were forced to leave these areas. Since 1955, tensions have persisted due to the Korean War, the Cold War, and the unresolved issues related to Japanese war crimes. China dedicated to bolstering its defense system, invested huge amounts of money into its military defense budget. And now, according to a report from an Australian think tank, China is at the forefront of advanced technology research in about 80% of crucial areas, such as hypersonics and underwater drones. This country is on its way to surpassing the United States, Europe, and Japan due to significant investments by the government. Out of 23 technologies studied, China is leading in 19, based on the most influential academic papers published between 2018 and 2020. China is also one of the developed nations to own a hypersonic missile and is undoubtedly reaching towards surpassing the United States in terms of the strength of its defense system. This continuous development has threatened Japan, who is worried that China might decide to retaliate, and due to this constant worry, Japan has decided to do something about it. Japan has put in the work and began the development of its new stealth fighter that is referred to as the Mitsubishi F-3. This fighter is a sixth-generation aircraft that is being developed for the Japan's Air Self-Defense Force, or JSDF. This fighter is expected to replace the Mitsubishi F-3 by the mid-2030s. The goal of this development is to enhance this country's defense capabilities and also sell the fighter jet internationally. In October 2020, Mitsubishi Heavy Industry was chosen as the main developer to be in charge of the progress of the project. On the 9th of December 2020, Japan announced that it would be teaming up with the United Kingdom and Italy for a project called the Global Combat Air Program. They plan to create and use a shared jet by combining the development of the UK's BAE Systems Tempest with Japan's F-3 and Mitsubishi Heavy Industry would oversee the construction. Also, IHI Corporation was in charge of the engine while Mitsubishi Electric managed the electronics. In the United Kingdom, BAE Systems was in charge of the aircraft, Rolls-Royce handled the engines, and Leonardo UK took care of the electronics. Italy's Leonardo SPA and Avio Aero, along with MBDA, also play a role in the development, 
particularly in missile development. Let's go ahead and check out the design and capabilities of Japan's sixth generation fighter. The FX is a stealth fighter that is equipped with two engines that makes it really agile when airborne. According to the Japanese Ministry of Defense, the fighter possesses advanced technology and capabilities that has put it in the category of a sixth generation fighter jet. It is rumored to be larger than the F-22, and this feature has earned it its nickname, Godzilla. The Ministry of Defense plans to make the fighter have a really long range and also a large carrying ability. Included in their list of plans for the FX is to make use of the technology from the X-2. The Minister of Defense also mentioned that the FC will be great at connecting with other systems and will be able to carry more missiles than even the formidable F-35. During the creation of the FX, the developers made basic designs at first which they put into a 3D digital mock-up system. These designs were influenced by what the FX is supposed to operate and how well it is supposed to perform. After the initial process, they went ahead to use a flight simulator that was created by the Technical Research Division to test the designs. The new FX is different from its old version because it uses electric actuators instead of regular hydraulic systems. The Ministry of Defense chose electric actuators because designing the insides of the stealth fighter is tricky. During the development of the fighter's stealthy shape, they considered things like equipping it with interne, weapon base, and air intake ducts. Various techniques and technologies were involved in the design and production of the aircraft in order to make it lighter. One is the process included the use of adhesive molding or integrated fastenerless structure technology to join composite materials without using many fasteners. Also, around the engines, they use heat shield technology that allows lighter materials like aluminium alloys and carbon fiber reinforced polymer to be used. To handle the heat from the aircraft's electronics, the fighter has a little system designed just for transferring heat. It helps the air and liquid cooling systems. This heat transfer system is based on a model similar to a refrigeration cycle that uses vapor compression. In order to spot stealthy aircraft effectively, the aircraft uses built-in sensors. These sensors include an active electronically scanned array radar, a passive radio frequency sensor, and an infrared camera. Both the AESA radar and RF sensor use gallium nitride to work better. The AESA radar is like the one on the F-2 fighter and similar to the radar used in the F-35. The FX has a system to defend itself against other planes. This system does both electronic support measures and electronic countermeasures. It detects threats and quickly disrupts their radio signals worldwide. The fighter jet has built-in antennas for ESM along the wings and tail flap. Now, to make the pilot comfortable in the cockpit without missing any important information, the fighter is equipped with a special helmet display that has a high view, shows colors in vogue eyes, recognizes voices, and has 3D sound. To its stealthy ability, the FX is designed with twisty air ducts and an inside area for weapons. They put special materials made of carbon on the air ducts and engines to absorb electromagnetic waves and reduce radar reflection. Tests show that using these absorbers makes it about half as likely to be detected by radar. They also use something called metamaterials to bounce back radio waves. These materials include small bits of metal and dielectric, and they're applied to the pulse Doppler system on the FX to control how radio waves are reflected while to stay hidden from radar, it mostly relies on passive detection and adjusts how it uses radar to lower the chances of being detected by the enemy. Does the FX have the features to deflect radars? Well, yes. It uses a special technology called plasma stealth antenna to deflect radio waves. This antenna works by creating a temporary plasma, and they can control it with electricity to change how it affects radio waves. When it's turned on, the antenna can also send and receive communication. When this fighter was in its early stages of development, the developers planned to utilize two XF-9 engines. 
Later on, they officially announced that the prototype engine was capable of producing about 11 tons in military thrust and 15 tons with afterburner. The engine is designed in such a way that makes it flexible with a thrust level that can be adjusted to make it higher or lower, based on what is needed at that point. The goal for this fighter is to reach a maximum thrust of 20 toms, and this was revealed to the public at the ATLA Technology Symposium that happened in 2018. The engine has a high combustion temperature of about 1,800 degrees Celsius. Guess what? This engine is slim compared to the power it wields, and this feature makes it remarkable. The slim design is necessary to keep the fighter jet stealthy and also to hide weapons internally. Additionally, it generates a significant amount of electrical power, reaching 180 kilowatts, potentially providing a combined 360 kilowatts from both engines. This substantial power generation is crucial for supporting the fighter's advanced avionics and equipment. The engines also have three-dimensional thrust vector nozzles, allowing the aircraft to maneuver well and enhance its stealth capabilities. These nozzles can redirect thrust up to 20 degrees in all directions. In addition to bolstering the country's defense system, Japan developed a new missile called ASM-3 for the FX because they plan to retire the F-2. This new fighter jet will also have a microwave weapon to mess with incoming missiles. This weapon is turned on by the stealth fighter's radar, using special electron tube amplifiers that are really efficient and small. Also, Japan is planning to bring in unmanned combat drones that can work with the FX, and these drones are called Combat Support Unmanned Aircraft. These drones are a bit like the Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie or Boeing Air Power Teaming System project, where the drone acts like a helpful partner to the main aircraft. There are two types of drones. One carries sensors to find targets, and the other shoots weapons and guides missiles away from the main aircraft. Both versions look the same. While the Japanese military system is making headway in the production of their new fighter jet, let's take a close look at one of China's formidable fighter jet and compare their capabilities. China's Chengdu J-20, also called the Mighty Dragon, is a stealthy fighter jet that was developed by Chengdu Aerospace Corporation for their Air Force. It was developed to perform effectively in all types of weather conditions and is equipped with two engines. The fighter is designed to be excellent in air battles and can precisely attack targets. There are three types. The first one, J-20A, the thrust vectoring J-20B, and the twin seat J-20S that can work together with another aircraft. It has a smooth body, a pointed front, and a canopy without a frame. Right behind the cockpit are special intakes that help with speed. There are movable canard surfaces with a distinct tilt after the intakes, then extensions at the front of the wings that merge into a delta shape with edges that sweep forward. There are two fins that point outwards toward the back. Short but deep fins are underneath, while regular or hard-to-see exhausts are for the engines. One key design feature that the J-20 features is that it is purposely made to be a bit unstable. This helps the aircraft to keep control even at high angles of attack when a normal tail might not work well due to stalling. The canard design, where these movable surfaces are, helps the aircraft perform effectively at high speeds and turns. It is known to be better for landing on shift runways than when compared to aircraft with a more standard delta wing design. The J-20 is designed with extra features like leading edge extensions and body lift to make it perform better in a canard layout. According to the designer, this combination helps to generate 1.2 times more lift than a regular canard's delta and 1.8 times more lift than an equivalent size pure delta design. The designer mentioned that it allows them to use a smaller wing which reduces drag at high speeds without sacrificing the lift-to-drag balance important for the plane's turning ability. The J-20 is built for air superiority missions, meaning it's meant to control the skies and engage in close-range battles. The aircraft has a bubble canopy, lots of movable parts that are used on controlling flight, and a canard design to control the angles of which it's flying. 
Chief Test Pilot Li Gang mentioned that the J-20 can maneuver similarly to the Chengdu J-10, but is much better at keeping an invisible state. The J-20's avionics was designed in such a way to keep the pilot aware of what is happening around them by utilizing advanced sensor fusion, while also keeping the enemy in the dark through stealth and electronic warfare. The fighter has a set of sensors that can cover all directions and provide a complete view. The specific radar type used in the fighter has not been officially revealed, but military experts have suggested that it might be the Type 1475 active electronically scanned array radar with 1856 modules. However, recent information that was revealed suggested that this radar is designed for upgraded versions of the J-11D. Other experts suggested that, judging by the fighter's nose and the known data about its radar, the J-20s probably have 2,000 to 2,200 modules. The major part, the weapons are kept in can hold both long-range air-to-air missiles and guided bombs. There is also a small site where short-range air-to-air missiles are kept. These areas that hold the missiles allow the aircraft to keep its door closed before firing the missiles, which makes it quicker to shoot. Interestingly, this fighter does not seem to have a built-in autocannon or rotary cannon, suggesting that it is not meant for close-range dogfights, but rather to attack from far away with missiles like PL-15 and PL-21. These missiles might be used for air battles and to shoot down targets with precision. It can also be involved in missions like launching missiles against radar and hitting ground targets. The J-20 fighter usually keeps its weapons inside, but it has four spots on the wings where it can attach extra fuel tanks for longer trips. However, it's not likely to use this during combat because it makes the aircraft more vulnerable like the F-2020. The setup is more useful for peaceful activities like moving between air bases. The fighter has the ability to carry four maximum long-range missiles in the main bay and one short-range missile placed on each side. The United States Pentagon mentioned that China might upgrade the bay to hold up to six missiles. There are ideas for different setups like using modified rail launchers for six PL-15s or developing a new, thinner missile. Experts observed that the fighter jet undergoes a lot of process to make it hard to detect on radar. It uses a unique combination of canard wings and leading edge root extensions to achieve a low radar cross-section. The front part, radar cover, and canopy are shaped in a stealthy way, similar to the F-22. The air inlets were designed in such a way that helps the aircraft to hide the engine from radar, saving weight and reducing the fighter's radar visibility. Other features that make the J-20 less visible on radar includes a flat bottom with an internal weapon, special edges on the doors, mesh covers on cooling ports, hidden antennas and material that absorb radar signals, even though some R's like fins and rear areas might be visible to radar. The overall design of the J-20 is very effective and more advanced than the Russian PAC-FA. They have made improvements over time which includes the use of different engine nozzles and tiles for better stealth on a prototype in 2014. The production model with the serrated WS-10C engine also helps reduce the negative impact on rear aspect stealth. The use of canard on a stealthy design to make the aircraft easier to detect on radar and compromise its stealthiness have been questioned. However, these concerns about the canard's radar visibility might not be accurate. Canards and stealthiness can work together like in the case of Northrop Grumman, who proposed canards on a stealthy design for the United States Navy's advanced tactical fighter, and Lockheed Martin tried canards on a stealthy design for the Joint Advances Strike Technology Program. To make the J-20 harder to spot by radars, they also make use of composite materials. The design includes a special supersonic inlet that lets the aircraft go really faster without a complex intake. This also serves to make the aircraft stealthier by getting rid of radar regencies. The DSI design is so good that it does not need any special material to absorb radar signals. They have also added a removable device under the J-20 called a radar reflector to make it look different on radar and hide the real signature. They later upgraded this device to be retractable in 2021.
In May 2018, the Indian Air Chief Marshal Danoa mentioned that the radars on India's Su-30 MKI fighters had the ability to detect a J-20 from several kilometers away. However, an analyst named Justin Brink announced that the Chinese might be using radar reflectors on the J-20 during peacetime for safety and training. This has helped the aircraft avoid accidents and makes it easier for other aircraft to identify the J-20. Bronk also mentioned that even the J-20 has some limitation in its ability to be stealthy, it could stay invisible and attack enemy targets in areas with background clutter caused by non-stealthy fighters and other electronic signals. The military analysts also agreed that the design is better than that of the Russian Su-57. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there!